Lawrence Okoli, Nikodem Jezewski out of Koszyzna, Poland. Last minute replacement. Lawrence Okoli steps in again. He is a big cruiserweight, six foot five. Sergio doesn't fight tall, and you see already he's got those feet spread, so he doesn't take it full advantage of his height. What do you make of that? I love that. I love the fact that he bends his knees. The thing about tall fighters, if they stay in one position, they're going to get timed. I mean, I, I was six foot, I was tall, but I love fighting small. You know, so you can actually fight small and fight tall. Yeah, but the danger with fighting small, right, is you don't use your physical advantage. If you look at that reach on Lawrence Acoli, it is huge. No, no, no. You you use your advantages, but you want to alternate. You just don't want to stick using that same reach and, and using that height. You want to get down and bend your knees and fight small as well. But Sergio, he seems to be always getting tangled up in fights. So I, I wonder, does he need a better stick then to keep his man at bay? Because a lot of his fights do get ugly with you know his opponents springing in. Yeah, Okoli doesn't fight much on the inside, which is something that he just doesn't he, he just doesn't like to do, you know. Uh, so I, I would recommend maybe more inside fighting because you're whenever you get to the championship level, you're gonna bound to fight with someone on the inside like that. Yusevsky was getting ready. Oh, took a knee already. Body shot, Brian. Wow, right to the midsection. Good punch by Okoli. Knocked down already in the first half of the first round. And we've seen so many fights go the distance. Right hand by Okoli. Could we see an early stoppage and get straight to Joshua Pulev in the main event? I was just about to say, Yuzhevsky had a fight scheduled for tonight, so he was already in training. Straight up the middle and he's hurt. He is badly wobbled. Okoli has Yuzhevsky hurt. Somehow he stays on his feet. It looked like Akoli was mystified for a second how Yuzhevsky was moving there. He was short-circuited. I mean, he just didn't know where he was. That, that's, that's shades of Zab Judah uh, against Kostya Zhu, where, like, his body was short-circuiting, but now he seems to have been able to get things back together. Body shot by Okoli, and not letting him off the hook. And Yuzhevsky actually <laughs> threw a left hook. He's hurt again. No, he's concussed. Nah, this should stop. This is going to have to be stopped. He's not reacting well to punches. His legs aren't cooperating with him. No, neurologically, he's not sound. Sergio, I mean, that's the second time he has been hurt in that manner. I, I don't know why they're letting this go. No, there's no way he's going to recover from that. Once, you're, once your legs go like that, it's just going to take one more shot, either for you to go down or remind your legs that you're hurt. I mean, I, I've just never seen a guy second time around take a shot like that unless he was pre-concussed or badly hurt. And that's the second time he was just doing a little dance and he doesn't know where he is. He does it again. He ducks under after eating a right hand. He's not in good shape. I mean, he's fighting hard, but he's not in good shape. Sergio, should this fight be stopped? No, not yet, because really? look, he, he, he stood up and his legs are reacting funny, but you, I mean, you can't stop him in the first round. You're not going to get better as the night goes on. That stays there. So, now, maybe I'm wrong. No, no, it stays there. Believe me, and that's what those temple shots do. They just, they, your, your legs go out the window, especially your knees buck when you can't control it. Akoli with a real chance to end this now. Yashevsky's in very bad shape. Eats a hook and then a right hand. Okoli gets to work, and he's got distance. Nice hook on return and, by Yashevsky. And that's the left hook that I was talking about in the first round. So his, his legs might not be under, the, under him, but Jayevsky is looking for that left hook. Well, he's got courage, no question. Chris, what would you do if you were in Yashevsky's corner? Uh, look, I would tell him to get on the inside. As we said at the top of the show, a guy like Akoli is not great yet at fighting on the inside. There's a lot of holding. At least he has his professional career. You can't fight at this distance. Akoli's too big, too strong, and too long for you to have any success. And another another reason you don't stop this fight is because, look, you got to give credit to an undefeated fighter in Jayevsky. So 19-0, uh, you can't just stop it on, on, on a one time that you're hurt uh, and I your legs are buckled. I just so rarely see a man react in a professional fight to shots like that. And there it is again. And he's wobbled. Again, that, it's neurological, Sergio. It's not safe. Uh, I, they should stop this fight. And even a referee watching it, I'd be very disturbed by what I'm seeing. You know, that Temple shot reminded me a little bit of the Temple shot Anthony Joshua took against Ruiz. Remember, he took it with the left hand at the top of the Temple, but he had a similar reaction where his body kind of malfunctioned but you're and right, went but, down. Right. Good point, Chris. But even he didn't do that little dance the way Yashevsky has done a dance twice. I, no, I don't, don't like this That's at all. It. That's it. You, you've got to stop this fight. He's not right. Now you stop the fight. Enough. Yeah, he cannot continue. 
Thank you. There's no way he should have been able to even fight that long. He could be badly damaged. You've got to get him out of there. Okoli did his job, but while Yashevsky came in, uh, it was just not right after taking that shot. I tell you, you mentioned, Chris, a fight I called last week, Jose, Josecito Lopez, Chia Santana, where there was a hue and cry for, hey, stop the fight, stop the fight, and I wasn't even there. I'm much more alarmed by what I saw here tonight than Chia Santana taking that punishment because Yashevsky did not react properly to headshots. I think they're both, you know, they both had their reasons for being stopped a little bit early on, but you're right, the reaction that Dushevsky had to those headshots was troubling. I'm glad the referee stopped it when it did. When he oh, did. there was no choice at that point. No choice at yeah. that point. He did get to his feet, but there was no choice in stopping that fight. I'll tell you what, though. Now that we know Dushevsky looks like he's okay, great win for Lawrence Acoli. Yeah, great Acoli, win. Acoli, Shane McGuigan, they, they did their job. He looked terrific. A dominant performance on a high-profile card. It is a springboard into a world title fight in his next fight. I said this at the top, Brian. Lawrence Acoli has the potential to bring some sizzle to the cruiserweight division. Usually, we don't care all that much about cruiserweight, but this guy, because of his you know, background as an Olympian, because of the fan base he can develop in Great Britain, he says he wants to unify the titles, he'll have an opportunity. All right, we'll take another look at this and let's see which knockdown we're talking about here. Yeah, that's... That almost looked like it was just an accumulation of everything else. It didn't really clip him that hard in that punch. And it's a good look for Lawrence Ercole also to get this, this notch on your belt versus a fighter that was 19-0, undefeated. It's always a good resume builder. You know, the first round knockout would have would have been the best, but you know, these shots like this, whenever you're dealing with fighters that aren't used to fighting on the big stage, you know, oh. you're you're getting hit by big punchers and your your legs won't react. But those shots right there to the tempo like that, your legs will not re recuperate as quickly. Uh, uh, Sergio, I, I didn't even like to see the way his left arm reacted when he went down with that final shot. I mean, again, this is a fight where you're gonna you're going to get some damage, and neurologically, Yashevsky was not reacting well throughout that fight. Again, I mentioned years ago, it was Zab Judah Kostya Zhu that was ended. That was a super fight at junior welterweight. And Zab Judah was, you know, cut in half, short circuited, and they stopped that fight. Edwards calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage. One minute and 45 seconds of round number two. Your winner by RSC. He's still undefeated and the new WBO International Cruiserweight Champion, the sauce, Lawrence O'Coley.